it. I, I don't break the law. I don't do anything that should cause me to be afraid of the police. But when a police officer shoots someone in the stairwell of their apartment building who's not doing anything, and there are police walking around my apartment building on a regular basis, yes, I'm going to be afraid because people are being killed and they're not doing anything wrong. So to tell me that I need to change my behavior, I'm not breaking the law. I'm not doing anything wrong. And at the end of the day, if you break the law, then you need to go and, and go to court and have a chance to sit in front of a jury of your peers, not be shot in the street or choked on a street corner. It's, it's unacceptable. And you should take responsibility as someone who works with the police. Latoya, you right. can have the last word here. Thank you. Well, there's an interesting debate going on on Twitter right now where people are asking, essentially, how should we approach the police? I'd be interested to hear Ray's response, so I'll try to keep it quick. Essentially, there's this idea that the police are better trained than citizens to respond to these situations, to know when to escalate or to de-escalate, and that's when you have a situation like Tamir Rice, where someone is going, I think it's a kid, he probably has a toy gun, can someone come? And that child ended up dead, right? So maybe that's not working. There are other people who say that the police are going to be adding violence to any situation that they arrive on, and we need to treat the police as a last resort, as something that we don't call unless we know that we can only fight violence with violence. Ray, what is the way in which we should figure out how to solve this debate and figure out how do we treat the police force because we're getting two very different messages. Ray, what's your reaction to that? <laughs> the reaction to... Yeah, to, to how, how should you respond to to the police? I, I, I'm trying to understand the question How are also, we supposed to interact with the police in a way that doesn't end us murder? That, that doesn't what escalate I, what I into a situation. Is that right, Latoya? Definitely. There's the idea that if you're bringing police into the situation... Period. Once you've called 911, you've escalated it into what could be a violent altercation. Truthfully, it's a rhetorical question because we have <laughs> situations where people call the police because they're a family member is hurt or injured and they end up dead. We had a woman in Brooklyn who called about her sister having a schizophrenic episode, called the police, and the police took the sister, put her on the bed, and she, she died. So that's why we're afraid to call the police. Okay, so please enlighten us, Ray. What are we supposed to do so that we can act like good Negroes and not get killed? <laughs> this, this obviously is a, a rhetorical question. The, you know, the numbers are, are infinitesimal where something like that will happen. The vast majority of police officers. Have you seen the news? How are you saying that number's infinitesimal? It shouldn't happen at all. Let, let you guys, let, let, let him yeah. finish, please. That's what they